Hi guys, this is your reading for Saturday the 28th of April. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you today. I'm using the Green Witch Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what's coming up. So we've got the Nine of Athames, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Athames, and the Lord of Shadows. The Lord of Shadows is death in the regular tarot. So today we have the Nine of Athames, that's worrying and lying in bed at night and not being able to sleep because you're concerned with the things that could go wrong. You're really just letting your head do a number on you and you're in fear rather than in faith. If you connect with something bigger than yourself, you'll understand and you'll realize that the universe has your back and that good things will happen. All you need to do is try and align yourself with the will of the universe and follow the instructions and things are going to work out. If you're running the show yourself, if you're doing everything the way you think is right, and you try and control situations, uh, control the business, control the relationship, control the children, control everything, then you're going to be lying awake at night and thinking, what am I going to do on this day to resolve this problem? It's really a situation where you're all by yourself, and you're not reaching out for help. And that's why you feel alone and worried and you can't get any rest. And it seems like there are dangerous things looming. So the solution to this is to really let go of control a little bit and to realize that there is a higher purpose for your life and that there is a plan. The next card is the Seven of Athames, and the Seven of Athames is about competing. It's debating something, or it's fighting other people to prove your prowess, or it's proving something to your wife. He's proven what a good hunter he is because he's come back with couple of rabbits and she's just so impressed waiting to kind of make a meal out of that. The seven of Athames is I have worth because I do things. I am valuable because I'm a good fighter or I am valuable because I help other people. The reality is that you have value just because you exist. A lot of people don't feel that. You know, unless I'm helping my family or unless I'm being kind or useful to others, then I have no value or meaning. And it couldn't be further from the truth because you're a perfect child of the universe. And whether you do nothing to help anyone or you are the most saintly, selfless person on earth, it makes no difference to your inherent value as a human being. You are part of the creator. You're a divine child of the universe. You're perfect as you are. So you don't need to compete. You don't need to prove yourself. And you don't need to fight and compare yourself to other people to feel better about yourself. All you need to do is really connect with your true self, your higher self, and to realize what an amazing human being you are. And I, both of these cards really are about forgetting to connect. In this case, she's worried because she's forgotten to connect with this loving higher power. In this case, he's having to prove himself or he feels like, if I'm not this good hunter, he probably lies awake at night as well. He's also got swords on his back. Um, he lies in bed and he says, what if I become incapacitated and I can't provide? Is she going to love me then? So he's also living in a state of fear because he has value because of the things he does. The final card is the Lord of Shadows. And we can see death watching this um, granddad and grandson walking along there in the woods. And there's a butterfly and it's under this beautiful tree. And the Lord of Shadows seems almost like he's hiding himself. He doesn't want to upset people. He's almost like 
shying away, but he's holding a twig of life in his hand. So the Lord of Shadows is, it's more presented as freedom here and ending something so that you can really thrive and, and, and flourish. I mean, the butterfly, the cocoon has to die before it can kind of spread its wing and fly. Uh, but death is an ending. And certainly if one of these were to, one of these two people were to pass away, that would cause huge amounts of pain. So that wouldn't be a positive ending, nor would it be freedom. So the message really today is that you can end this cycle of feeling alone and isolated and unloved and like you have to constantly prove yourself to other people because the thing is you're proving yourself to other people and you're worrying about other people but those relationships aren't permanent anyway even if someone loves you and adores you that person may grow old and die and leave you or you may have to, you know, your visa may run out and you may have to leave the country. I mean, human relationships are unreliable at times. And both of these cards are about finding self-worth through human relationships. And what the cards are saying is let this die, this faulty belief die, that you have to help other people or be there for other people so that you have some value. Realize that you have infinite value just because you are. Enjoy the freedom of that. And realize that your relationships are temporary and they're not as important as your primary relationship, which is the relationship that you have with yourself and with the universe, the higher power. That's the relationship where you're going to get something real from it. And you don't have to prove yourself for the universe, the creator to like and love you, nor do you have to worry whether the creator likes and loves you because you will feel that sense of unconditional love. So today is a day where you have the opportunity to put an end to this constant insecurity and need for approval and, um, validation via other people which cause you to act in ways which go against your beliefs and your true feelings because you want the approval and you want to feel validated by other people and by looking at yourself truly clearly today you can really let that dynamic go I also like the well in here because the well is an infinite source of life and water. And we've got lots of juxtapositions with this death card. We've got death hiding. We've got this really lively, abundant tree. We've got death holding on to life. We've got life happening there. We've got freedom. So it's really looking at the whole cycle of your life as impermanent and permanent. Abundance and love is not of this world and is permanent. That comes from the creator. And ego things like fear and worry and competition, those are all finite. They're limited. At some point, they're going to end. And because some things end and some things are consistent, today is a good day to try and figure out what are the consistent, long-term, permanent things in your life that you can rely on, like your connection with a higher power, feeling unconditionally loved, realizing that you have worth just because you exist, and letting go of the things that don't serve you. So constantly having to prove yourself, getting people to like you, worrying that you're not going to be picked as number one, worried about not getting the job and your whole life being ruined because you didn't get that job so you couldn't prove who you really were. Forget about all that. Worry about your relationship with your higher self, with your higher power. Start some sort of spiritual practice. Connect with your higher power and you'll get the information that you need 
to take the next right step in your life so that you can maximize your potential, so that you can be free and that you can live in the present moment and enjoy your life for what it is rather than constantly fighting to keep negative things at bay. Just open yourself up, let it all go and trust and hand the fear over and your life will continue and it will continue without your control and the less you control your life, the better it will become. Try it out for a couple of weeks and see it happen. The less you get involved in your own life, it sounds weird, but the less you try and control your own life and you let the universe control it, the better it turns out. 13 and 7 is 20. And 9 is 29. 2 and 9 is 11. 11 is the master number of service. So when you sort yourself out by seeing your true value, then you're in a position to actually be of service to other people. That you could argue he's being of service to her because he's he, he's bringing dinner. Yes, he's being of service, but he's being of service because he's afraid she's going to leave. If he was happy and secure in his life and his love and his relationship, then that would be a gift. Not here you go. I've done my job for today, and I can I can I can rest easy tonight. I'll have to be scared again tomorrow. So it's a really wonderful opportunity to let go of that, um, to be of service to others because you're being of service to yourself for the first time, really. Charity begins at home. You see and recognize yourself for who you truly are. It allows you to relax, to go, oh, I don't have to fight every second of the day. And then you can be of service to other people and help and support and heal them. So it's a wonderful day of really seeing yourself for who you are and not escaping into behaviors that take you away, uh, you know, um, playing around with someone even though you're married or drinking excessively to numb out your feelings or gambling excessively to get some sort of a thrill because you're bored with your life. Feel your feelings, even if they are negative. Today is a really important day. You can end a cycle which may have been bothering you for a long, long time. And you can put an end to it once and for all. But you do have to be present and conscious for it. So I hope you have a great day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. In my personal readings, I look at life purpose, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your life purpose is for this time round, vocationally what you're gifted at, so what jobs you'll be really, really um, good in, what's coming up for you in the areas of love and romance, money and health. And also what's destined for you in those areas. I can also answer specific questions. So if you um, want to know when finances are going to pick up or when you'll meet the right person, I can have a look at your chart. Use the tarot and the numerology to give me a really in-depth overview of what's happening for you on a soul level. And then I can answer those questions for you. So if you are interested, do visit the website gregoryscott.com. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.